Well, you can't have too many first responders around an area that's growing as fast as the Rio Grande Valley, that's for sure. And the folks at STC are making sure that, well, we stay on the right path in terms of that. Martha and Mario are here with me now. And uh, we're talking about the First Responders Expo that you all are going to have and all kinds of good things coming together at once. How does it start and when does it start? Well, uh, it's going to be this Wednesday mm -hmm. uh, um, from 10 to 3 p.m. And the purpose of this, the expo, is to uh, allow our public to see the fact that we have a p police academy, fire science academy, EMS, and criminal justice programs. And at the same time, uh, we're going to allow our community to bring in the people that hire our students. So we're going to have about 25 agencies that will be there from police departments, uh, Border Patrol, mm -hmm. DPS, uh, those kind of agencies will be with us. Oh, and anybody can show up? Anybody can show up. This is free and open to the public. And again, this is all highlighting the public safety programs that South Texas College does offer, mm -hmm. um, like Mr. Dana just mentioned. So this is a free and open to the public event. It's going to be a combination of an expo, a career fair. There's lots to learn about the kinds of public programs that we have, public it, safety programs that we have. It's not as easy to do this job as people think. You, know, you see it on TV, you know, uh, these, these TV shows have been popular since the, the dawn of television with firemen and policemen and all of that, but this job is really tough. It, it, is, it is a very demanding uh, profession and individuals that go into this profession obviously know that it, not just an ordinary person can do this. So in order to be a police officer, for example, to go through a program, you have to do certain things. Uh, most important background checks, psychological, polygraph, and then physical fitness. Mm -hmm. So uh, it does require a little bit of stamina and you're looking at a 20-week program yeah. from 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. So uh, it's, uh, it's a special, special kind of I'm person. sure there's an age cap for that one. Well, uh, cap, no, uh, yes, 21. Yeah. 21. Uh, you have to be 21 to uh, be in the age. You have to be at least 21. At least. Okay, uh, okay. But we haven't said, you know, there's a, but, uh, you know, if you cannot meet uh, the physical yeah you no 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 you had me no 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 I'm out I'm out I'm out but <laughs> it sounds like there's a lot of opportunity for a lot of people who fall within the uh, category there of being physically fit mentally fit and ready to go and ready yes. to serve their communities uh, do you have a big response usually to something like this well this is the first time we're having this kind of particular expo mm -hmm. um, but we just want the public to know that South Texas College is training um, our first responders that are out there um, to the high, highest quality the highest standards and we just want people to come in maybe schools um, again the public is, is, is welcome to come and just learn about these kinds of first responder and public safety programs that we have at South Texas College now give me a time one more time and location uh, yes uh, location Pecan Campus Cooper Center and it's gonna be from 10 uh, to 3 p.m. this Wednesday uh, October 30th in McAllen in McAllen, McAllen Texas outstanding both of you thank you so very much thank you're doing you. a great service for the community and we're going to have more including a forecast for this here community coming up